Hi friends! In this video we will learn how to make a simple MPPT solar controller circuit using IC555 and a buck converter. In this design, I utilize the IC555 as a variable PWM generator. This indicates that the IC555 is consistently generating a series of pulses at its pin number 3. These pulses determine the switching speed of the MOSFET IRF9540, which in turn regulates the amount of power that can reach the battery. However, the intriguing aspect is that the width of this PWM pulse is not constant. It is influenced by the voltage from the solar panel. This is achieved by connecting pin number 5 of the IC555 to the solar panel output via a preset. We know that when sunlight becomes strong, then solar panel also gives more voltage. That higher voltage goes to pin number 5 of IC555, so that pin voltage also goes high. Because inside this IC555, we have one modulating function working. So when pin 5 voltage goes high, then automatically PWM duty cycle at pin number 3 also increases, which means that pulse width becomes wide. So we feel that now MOSFET will stay on for longer time, but the opposite happens because the MOSFET is a P-channel MOSFET. So finally, the PWM that is going to MOSFET becomes narrower. So what is final result from this? When sunlight is strong, then MOSFET duty cycle actually becomes less. Because of that, the buck converter takes less power from the panel. This is done to make sure that the solar panel voltage does not drop too much down. So even when sunlight is strong, this circuit keeps panel running close to the best voltage level, which is near the maximum power point or MPP. So now we see that when sunlight goes weak or becomes less, then solar panel voltage also drops. That lower voltage reaches pin number 5 of IC555, so that pin voltage also goes down. Because of this, the PWM duty cycle at pin number 3 of IC555 also becomes narrow or thin. But now again, this narrow PWM goes to the P-channel MOSFET gate, causing the MOSFET to conduct longer. So what happens is that MOSFET gets longer on time. Because of that, buck converter pulls more current from the solar panel. It tries to keep power output stable by adjusting this way. But because panel itself is weak now, so to protect the panel and keep it stable, the circuit again reduces PWM gradually to balance the panel voltage and prevent overload. This whole action is like one balancing act, which keeps happening all the time automatically depending on how strong or weak the sunlight is. Now, the second part is what makes your circuit work like a real maximum power point tracking MPPT system. This part uses an op-amp IC741, which compares the voltage drops from the solar panel to a solar voltage that was recorded earlier. This memory is kept using a smart setup of a capacitor and diodes. So how does it works? Pin number 2, the inverting input of the op-amp, gets the real-time voltage from the solar panel. Pin number 3, the non-inverting input, also gets the same voltage, but it goes through three diodes first. These three diodes cause a voltage drop of about 1.6V altogether. So, pin number 3 stays about 1.6V lower than pin number 2, as long as the solar voltage is steady or increasing. A 10 microfarad capacitor is connected to pin number 3, which helps the voltage drop slowly. Now let's think about what happens if the panel voltage suddenly drops. This might happen if a load needs a lot of current, like a battery that is really low on charge. In this situation, the voltage at pin number 2 drops quickly. But pin number 3 can't drop as fast because the capacitor keeps it up. So, pin number 3 ends up being higher than pin number 2. This makes the output of the op-amp go up. So what this higher output does? It sends a high voltage signal to pin number 5 of the IC555. This makes the PWM duty cycle at pin number 3 of the IC555 wider which causes the gate of the MOSFET to make the PWM signal narrower. So the time the MOSFET is on gets shorter. This causes the output power from the buck converter to go down. As a result, the load current decreases. Then, the voltage from the solar panel starts to go back up. Final result. This part with the 741 op amp creates a feedback loop that notices when the solar panel is overloaded and quickly reduces the load, letting the panel recover before slowly increasing again. 
So that's it folks, that ends our explanation on the simple MPPT solar controller circuit using IC555 and IC741. If you have any related questions, just ping me below in the comments, I will be there to sort it out for you quickly. Thanks for watching.